started out at a conservation area called Mbetakwai my first year, and you had, you know, Cape buffalo and elephants and some lions, not, not a huge population, very small population, and um, all kinds of different animals there. And so I had to have a guard with um, a gun in order to work in that area for safety. And um, we did come across um, large cats twice. Once we saw a lion looking at, a, at us out of a bush with, when we were walking past. But it was just one, and he you know, left us alone. And then another time, we're walking past the bush near this small river, and we heard something, something growled at us, a very deep, loud growl. And um, that was really scary for me. Um, I'm used to walking around at night and coming across animals sometimes, but that was intense. Um, we had a hyena disturb our, when we were, uh, our site when we were misnetting, where all our stuff was. Um, and we had uh, baboons um, interrupt our work sometimes. We had a baboon tear a four foot hole in one of our mist nets uh, when we were netting one night. I've almost stepped on snakes before. We've got puff adders and red spitting cobras, um, and then black mambas, and um, some other smaller species. Another one, like one that's venomous, I can't remember the name of, and some non venomous, but puff adders are one of the dangerous, most dangerous species in Africa because they like to lay on paths and be warm against the rocks and don't move. So people step on them in the dark. And so I've actually stepped over them before by accident. Plenty of animals suck.